We were born with the talent. As far as I know, we're the only weather prophets in the world. We make forecasts for the six months to come. Our forecasts are on average correct 80% of the time, which is better than the official weather service, even taking into account that they only make five-day forecasts. By the looks of their holes, the mice are probably in hibernation. They could be mating, but we know at least that they're quiet, which is an indication that the weather is going to remain stable. If these piles of dirt were freshly dug up, it would be a sign that the weather was about to change. We can also make long-range forecasts based on the length of their tails. According to what I've seen, we'll get a lot of snow in April. I've been a weather prophet for 18 years now. You need to have the gift. I knew I had it when I was only three weeks old. There are many people who can sense the weather, but most of them really don't know anything about it. These are my tools. A saw to saw the horn. A file to file it. A piece of cloth and some oil to make it shiny. Some sandpaper. And a piece of glass to clean it. We all have our own methods. You never know which one of us is going to make the most accurate prediction. It changes from year to year. But in general, we're all quite good. The advent of bird flu has made it very difficult to make a forecast for this winter. If you dare look up into the skies, you risk being hit in the face by bird droppings and contracting the disease. So I have to make do with cow horns. It's more difficult than understanding Chinese. The pattern shows that the coldest spell is already behind us. But there will still be enough snow. I would need more time to analyze the smaller markings properly. This says that the 10th of April will be a beautiful day. You could actually forecast every single day. But of course, you need a lot of patience. We don't agree. He says that according to the cow horns, the 10th of April will be sunny. But I've analysed both mice and women and have come to the conclusion that it won't be a very nice day. I think you're wrong. I know that cows are reliable, much more so than women. They don't change their minds and aren't moody, which I can't say about women. Yeah, but I know the woman I'm talking about when she's in a good and bad mood, and in both states she showed signs of bad weather for the 10th of April, and so did the mice. That's why I think I'm going to be right. You see, my problem is that I can't speak to a woman when she's in a bad mood. But they seem to talk to him no matter how they're feeling. That's why I can't rely on them. Prophets, of course, have existed for thousands of years. The greatest ever was Joseph in the Bible. He predicted seven fat and seven lean years. In other words, he was able to make a 14-year forecast.